Hi there guys, it's Chris here with SelfMadeNewbie.com and in this video we're going to go through the best smart locks currently out there today. Now I've tried to keep this list as comprehensive as possible and I've narrowed it down to my favorite best five. So no matter what you're looking for, there'll definitely be something on this list for you. So before we jump in, drop a like and subscribe and hit the bell to be updated with new videos. Okay, so as usual I'm going to skip the fluff and just jump right into my recommendations. If you want to confirm what they are, go to the description there and check out that list to ensure that you also get the best pricing. All right, kicking it off with my favorite overall, and this is the August Wi-Fi Smart Lock. So there wasn't much to improve on August Smart Lock, but the company went ahead and tweaked its original design to make it smaller and even easier to use. The August Wi-Fi Smart Lock is 45% smaller than the original, so it looks less bulbous on your door and now has Wi-Fi built in, so you don't need to install the August Connect Bridge to link uh, your lock to your home network. Everything I liked about the August Pro is here, a simple installation process, uh, features such as door sense, which lets you know if your door has been left ajar, and interoperability with a huge range of other smart home systems from Alexa to Google Assist to Xfinity, and the August Wi-Fi lets you use the keys from your existing deadbolt. So in a nutshell, the pros, the smaller size, the Wi-Fi built in, easy to use and install, and works with a lot of home, uh, smart home devices. The cons is that the keypad is sold separately. The next one on my list is my recommendation for the best value, and this is the August Smart Lock, the original. So if you wanna add some smarts to your home without spending too much, the August Smart Lock has a lot of features you'll need at a reasonable price now that the newer model has come out and you can pick up this smart full featured lock for under $100. If you rent your home, the August Smart Lock is the best smart lock as it's very simple to install on top of an extant deadlock without replacing the cylinder or key. There's no need to replace the cylinder, it will continue to work with your existing keys, keeping your landlord happy. And when you move out, you can quickly and easily remove the lock and replace it with the old one, keeping your deposit safe. Note that you'll also need the August Connect module, which is about $60, if you want to control and monitor the lock remotely. Uh, that module can handle multiple locks, so it is a great low-cost pick for adding remote control to several doors at once. So the pros of this, easy to install, works with HomeKit, Alexa, Google Assistant, and more. The auto lock and auto unlock feature. Uh, and the cons, I guess, August Connect module is sold separately and no Apple HomeKit or Amazon key support with this. The next one on my list is my recommendation for those who own an Apple smartwatch and this is the Schlage Encode Plus. So why type in a code if all you have to do is tap your phone to a smart lock to open your door? That's the biggest benefit of this one, at least for iPhone owners. When connected with HomeKit, you simply need to touch your iPhone or your Apple Watch to the Encode Plus to lock or unlock it. Super easy. I also like that this lock can connect directly to Wi-Fi and that it has a nice big number pad as well as a built-in alarm. However, it, has, it holds fewer codes, so just 100 uh, than competing smart locks such as the August. So if you don't have an iPhone, this may not be the best smart lock for you. In a nutshell though, the pros of this, unlocks via iPhone and Apple Watch very conveniently. The built-in alarm is great and it works with HomeKit as well. The cons are, it supports fewer codes than other smart locks. The next one on my list is my recommendation for the most versatility. It works with everything basically, and this is the Yale Assure Lock 2. So the support for multiple smart home standards make the Yale Assure Lock 2 one of the best smart locks available. It works with Alexa, Google Home, HomeKit, and SmartThings, and will also support Matter in 2023. That means you can control it from your smartphone, whether you have one of the best iPhones or the best Androids, or a smart speaker like Amazon Echo, Google Nest Mini, or Google Nest Hub Max. However, you need to swap out an internal module if you wanna switch from Bluetooth to say Wi-Fi or Zigbee. Like its predecessor, the Assure SL, or the Assure Lock 2 is an attractive, well-designed lock that is also easy to install. There's no manual key option though. It's a key code, which are unlimited, an app, or that's all. If the battery runs out, you can give it a temporary boost by touching a nine volt battery to two contacts underneath the keypad. The biggest gripe though with this is that you have to press the Yale logo before you can input the key code, and that's like an extra step. 
um, and one that maybe a visitor might not understand. Uh, also, there's no brass finish option on this model, but kind of nitpicking there. The pros in a nutshell, support for really everything. Um, Amazon Alexa, Google Home, Apple HomeKit. It's attractive, it's a simple design. It's matter compatible as well. And again, reasons to avoid is just that extra step with unlocking, having to tap that YAL logo. But some people might like this as sort of an extra um, step of difficulty for unlocking. The next one on my list is my best for, I guess you could say being inconspicuous or you don't want other people to know you have a smart lock. And this is the Level Bolt. So the Level Bolt smart lock distinguishes itself from all others in that once installed, its mechanism is completely hidden from sight. And that's because all of its workings fit neatly inside your door. So not only does this mean you don't have to mar the experience of your door with a gadget, but it also means that you're not advertising to others that you have a smart lock. And because the level lock uses your door's hardware, you can still continue to use your keys to lock and unlock the door. The level bolt works with HomeKit as well, Alexa and Ring, but does not work with Google Assistant. And because it only has Bluetooth built in, you'll need a compatible smartphone uh, hub nearby if you want to remotely monitor and control the lock. Uh, but these limitations aside, this is a solid option. So the pros in a nutshell, it fits completely inside the door. It's HomeKit compatible and also works with Alexa. The cons, doesn't work with Google Assistant and there's no open door alert as well, which a lot of people um, might really want. All right guys, so hopefully there's something on that list for you, whether you want something stylish, something all around, something hidden, something in between. Hopefully I've included something in that list for you. But if you have any questions, drop a comment below. And if you found value in this video, it really helps out if you drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.